Hi, my name is Bob Aguirre and I'm the Finance Systems Supervisor. Our team is responsible for the development and support of the city's financial applications. I'm also responsible for accurately keeping records of all expenses related to a hurricane so we can get maximum reimbursement from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. Today, I would like to briefly discuss two of the assistance programs offered by FEMA. The first one is the FEMA Individual Disaster Assistance Program, also known as IA, and it was created to help residents recover from a major disaster. The help from FEMA will come in the form of providing housing assistance to individuals and families who have lost their homes as a result of a presidentially declared disaster. If you're a renter or a homeowner, you may qualify for assistance. By law, FEMA assistance cannot duplicate the assistance you receive from your insurance company, but you may receive assistance for items not covered by insurance. FEMA does not offer assistance for small business impacted by a declared disaster. However, FEMA established a partnership with the Small Business Administration, SBA, which offers low interest loans for business damage. FEMA offers disaster assistance for some of your other disaster caused expenses, including medical and dental, child care, funeral, essential household items, moving and storage, vehicle, and some cleanup items. The second program FEMA offers is the Public Assistance Program, also known as PA. Public Assistance is FEMA's largest grant program providing funds to assist communities responding to and recovering from major disasters or emergencies declared by the President. Debris removals operations represent the bulk of disaster-related costs. Additional costs could be related to protective measures and damages to equipment and property. In order to be eligible for FEMA reimbursement, the city must follow strict guidelines established by FEMA. To be eligible for reimbursement, the city of Pembroke Pines must manage, supervise, and monitor debris cleaning operations. Some categories of debris are vegetative, including trees, shrubs, and plants, construction and demolition, being building materials, carpet, furniture, and lumber, Metals and white goods like air conditioners, freezers, refrigerators, stoves, and water heaters. Electronics, computer, radios, and televisions. Household waste like cleaning supplies, batteries, oils, paints, and pesticides. Most disasters result in a mix of debris. The mix of debris will affect what type of equipment is necessary, the debris removal and disposal process, and the cost of operation. Debris separation at the point of pickup is mandatory according to FEMA guidelines. Residents must be educated on how to separate and place debris on the right of way. By not doing so, the debris cleanup operation might be delayed. Mixed debris piles will not be picked up. Debris removal from private roads and gated communities is allowed under certain special conditions. The city must provide confirmation that it satisfied all legal process and obtain permission requirements from the property owners. In agreements to identify and hold harmless the federal government before FEMA will provide public assistance funding for debris removal. I hope that information provided has been helpful. And if you need additional information, you can go to ppines.com slash hurricane, and there you can find links to FEMA and other governmental agencies.